Today, someone asked me a question that I want to hide certain confidential information about customer. It can be credit card details or you know, email IDs, and only certain authorized people will be able to see it. So, is it possible uh, or is it doable in ABAP? Or I need to consume an external API uh, to achieve this. So, I thought this is a very good uh, you know, use case to create a demonstration on that because long time I didn't create any ABAP video for you. So let's do that. It's an opportunity and create this uh, quick uh, video uh, to understand whether it is possible or not and how to achieve it. Hopefully it will be useful to you as well. So I want to try to achieve this. One is a simple above program. Let's see how much line of course actually do I need to achieve it. So what the intention, let's, uh, I will not do it much complicated way. Simple one email ID. I want to take it as an input, which I want to uh, encrypt it and i also will decrypt the same uh, encrypted text so that i can get that original text back after decryption process so that is the simple way so take email id how much length let's take 50 characters uh, for the safer side i want to take it as a lower case always of course uh, if case to case varies you can do other way as well as an input whatever text will want to hide that's pretty fine Nothing as a lower or upper case uh, dependent. And I want to put as a default value so that don't need to type every time. Test email.com. And to encrypt this particular email ID, I need one passphrase for that. Okay. So the passphrase I want to take it as uh, let's take character 10. Put it also a lowercase and default. Let's put a default value for this one as well. There's a secret key one, two, three, something, anything you can take. Doesn't matter. So now what happens? What are the text I will get? First, let's and uh, the safe one. I want to convert input text into um extreme format all right so this is my step one so for that i'll be using one uh simple utility so take uh kind of above 7.4 coding pattern and this is my input and the converted string i want as an extreme fashion i'll be using this uh, utility called bcs convert and that class has something called um, string to extreme conversion and here I want to pass this input text and before that I want to do a type conversion so that it doesn't complain and I want to put this uh, p underscore sorry not this one um, yeah, I want to put p underscore email. So that is my input text, which I want to convert into uh, convert into extreme format. So that's a step one. After I do that, uh, after this conversion, I'll be using uh, this particular converted string or extreme rather and pass it to another utility uh, to encrypt uh, the x string so that is our step two so for that i will be using one class called cl um, security is xml writer okay so that is the class and it will have two simple methods that i want to use encrypt and decrypt i think you got the point now pretty easy so the plain text will be our uh, input extreme passphrase will be your key will be the passphrase that i want to put it again as a converted way so that it doesn't complain yeah so now what next the algorithm that i need to use and i'll get the cipher text which will be the encrypted text now the algorithm is little uh you may need to do little r d on that in your system but I'll be using uh, the same class 
will have a few more algorithm that I want to use and I learned to use CLAS um, algorithm 128 algorithm for that cipher text again I can simply use uh, this is an encrypted text all right fine so now what I want to do now it actually returns certain catchable exception so it's always uh, it will be good and safe to put it in a try catch block so that if anything goes wrong at least no short dump happens and this catch block i want to put it over here i think i'm good at this at least so far so good now what i'm planning so let's uh, use the same encrypted text and now try to decrypt it right so i think again we can put a try catch block and here the same class we'll be using um, and this time i'll be using a decrypt method the cipher text will be again encrypted text key should be the same key same passphrase nothing change And algorithm upwards the same algorithm. Uh, I can exactly copy this line, sorry, and replace with clipboard. Now plain text uh, is actually again an extreme fashion, not a string fashion. So I'll put decrypted. So this is a decrypted text. Cache, I want to replace this one. So far, so good. No problem. Lastly, what we have to do, uh, this uh, decrypted text, which is actually coming in extreme fashion, will convert back it to string so that it's human readable. So that put it as a decrypted uh, string same utility bcs uh, convert and this time again we will be using extreme to so it is simple extreme um, to string conversion and now i have to give the same extreme value so i'll be putting this decrypted text and the code page, I think I have to use one class, a six. Um, yeah, SX mime single part. I forgot the single part part. Okay. So now we can use this uh, method called get SX not code page. Okay. And this is optional. I don't need to pass anything. Put a... So I think all good. So next, what you have to do? Let's do a simple write statement, some formatting, and let's put a literal. Let's type fast input text that we received. And input text was our email, correct? Let's put certain space. Again, uh, next thing would be what? Tell me. Let's print the de encrypted text now, which we received from the input, right? Uh, we can put it like L encrypted. And uh, for the formatting purpose, let's put it little tab. Yeah. And finally, uh, decrypted. Okay. and here you can put this decrypted part string format correct is it good bad ugly i think it is done so let's activate and we are done is it really done but you see very simple coding nothing much but before that let's test it to see whether it's working
Uh, let's put a debug also to see how things are working. So let's put a breakpoint. Execute. So first I will convert into uh, into X string. My input came as a simple text. So this becomes my X string value of my email ID. Now let's encrypt it with a passphrase as secret key one. Oh, it character 10 characters, so it took only one. Okay, that's good. So let's run it now. No exception, but this is our encrypted text that anyway we are going to uh, print it. Perfect. So now the same thing I'll be using for decryption and this is the decrypted text but again it is coming as a extreme fashion as I told which we need to convert back to uh, string. So let's do that. It also came, voila, you see the data came back with the original input and this is what our input encrypted text and decrypted text pretty simple but uh, thing useful in many cases uh, in our in our business requirement this is pretty much useful uh, thanks for watching and uh, we'll again connect the next session goodbye till then